In this video, I'll discuss data pipelines. Data pipelines are an Amazon web service that allows us to copy data between differing data stores. Data nodes identify the input and output to and from data pipelines, and they include sources such as S3, DynamoDB, MySQL, as well as Redshift database warehouse information. Pipelines use scheduled task runners, whereby preconditions must be met before they execute against a data set, after which, if the conditions are met, they might copy data or run scripts that perform some other type of data transformation. Data pipelines also support auto-scaling. This means, for example, that workloads when required could be fed into EMR clusters where instances could be added to handle the workload. Identity and access management policies can control what actions can be performed by data pipelines. IAM policies can also control pipeline resource access, for example, access to an S3 bucket for data input into the pipeline. There is a policy available in IAM called the AWS Data Pipeline Role Policy. This can be assigned to either users or groups to give the appropriate pipeline permissions. From the Amazon Web Services main page, if I scroll down to the bottom center under the Analytics section, I'll see Data Pipeline, where the description is Orchestration for Data-Driven Workflows. I'll go ahead and click on Data Pipeline. Once the console pops up, we'll have the option of creating a new pipeline. Any existing pipelines will appear listed down below. I'll click the Create New Pipeline button. The first thing I have to do is specify a name for the pipeline. I'll call it MySQL Changes Before App Testing. Down below, I can build a template, import a definition, or build using architect. I'm going to choose build using template where from the list I'm going to choose to do an incremental copy of RDS MySQL data into S3. After a moment the template is loaded and down below I can see I would fill in the blanks in this case the RDS MySQL password, the name of the table that I want to store an incremental copy for in S3, and of course the output S3 folder and so on. Down below, I'll have the information related to scheduling. That's one of the beauties of using data pipelines is that we can schedule this data workflow. So I might do it just once when the pipeline is initially activated, or I could run it on a recurrent schedule if required. In this video, we discussed data pipelines.